home. Right, now that I finally got some free time to go ahead and do my Christmas unboxing video just like I do every other year. Gosh darn it, I miss Christmas. Oh, great. Now what am I supposed to do with all these Christmas gifts that I got? You could just open them in the video anyway. It's not the same. Uh, <laughs> what, you're whining and open the game already? It's not like you go back in time before Christmas ended. <gasps> That's it! We can you use the power of this game to send me back in time to before I got these Christmas gifts? I don't think time travel works like that. Great! I knew I could count on you! It's an incredibly flawed- OW! <laughs> now send me back! You know, people are going to criticize the fact that you're just making up this power of mine for the sake of keeping the Christmas theme in this video. Eh, uh, that's alright. It's my show, so I'll just say it. This video isn't canon. <sighs> whatever. Whoa! Hey guys, and welcome to the totally real Christmas unboxing video that I totally actually recorded totally on Christmas Day! Totally! Yeah, I know this video was a little late. Uh, I mean, it's not, because I, I totally recorded this on Christmas. Totally. Totally did. Totally. Totally did. Totally. 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 Anyways, the day that I recorded this video on probably doesn't matter to you. What does matter is you want to see what stuff I got for Christmas this year. And, well, I'm here to show you. Just like I do every year. So, um, let's just get right to it then, shall we? Alright, so we got... A total of spit. A total of one, two, three, four, five games this year, and we're gonna go through them in order. Um, well, not in the order that I got. Whatever. Okay. The first thing uh, that I got for Christmas is called the uh, Scooby Doo Phantom of the Night. Now, you might remember if you were around, to, like towards the beginning of my channel, I'd say. I think I made this the walkthrough for it like in 2010 or 2011, one of those years. Uh, I did the walkthrough of Scooby-Doo Showdown in Ghost Town, and it was a point-and-click adventure game. Um, well, they actually made three of these Scooby-Doo adventure games, and I only owned two of them. Showdown in Ghost Town and Shinx at the Sphinx. I never owned the third one. Well, I have the third one right here. I've, uh, never played the third one before, and, uh... I thought it'd be cool to, uh, yeah, to, uh, try it out. Um, I would like to do a walkthrough of both this and Jinx at the Sphinx at some point. The problem is, Fraps doesn't work with both of those games, for whatever reason. It worked for Showdown in Ghost Town, but not for Jinx at the Sphinx. And it makes me think it's not going to work on here, either. Um... I'm not sure why that is. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not really sure. And I can't use it, I can't record using BP Flashback Express 2 either, because I need to get the game in a window to do that, and I can't get these games in a window. So, I, I, I don't know, I might, I'll, tr I'll, I'll, I might try to look for like some sort of solution to this kind of problem, but, uh, I don't know, it doesn't look like I'll be able to do a walkthrough of both of those games anytime soon, even though I would like to kind of round off the trilogy, I suppose. So let's get this wrapper off. There we go. Alright, is there anything uh, special in here? Because I know it's in... What? Okay, uh... It's kind of a weird case, so, uh, yeah, is there anything... That, that, that pretty much says it all right there. Oh, it's a book. It's, a, it's not in the movie. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't remember seeing this movie. Uh, did they make more than three? Hold on. Hold on, let me get, 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 get out of here for a second. Get, get, uh, get, get. Get out of there. Okay. Uh, okay, hang on. I made more than three. What? Why did it only list three then? I didn't know they made more. Holy cow. 
There's more to this saga of Scooby-Doo adventure games? Holy cow, dude. Jeez, they made five, not three, five. Holy cow. I assume they only made three, because, like, at the end of both Showdown Ghost Town and Zeke Sphinx, they have a little end title card thing that says, Oh, hey, uh, look for these older Scooby-Doo games that you can play right here, and it lists those three games. I didn't know they made two more of them. Dude. I learn something new every day, man. <laughs> Alright, so the second game uh, that I got was one that I was not expecting, actually. Um... It's Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Yes, this was, uh, actually surprising. I was not expecting to get this game at all. Uh, mostly because I didn't, like, write it down on a list of things that I wanted to get. But, uh, yeah, this was, like, completely a surprise. So, uh, yeah, I'm not complaining. I mean, I do like me some Lego. So, uh, yeah, now, I think I'm going to need to get some scissors for this one. Because, uh, you can kind of see the wrapper is kind of... It's kind of weird on this one, so... Yeah, it looks like really messed up, so, uh... I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some scissors really quickly. There we go. Alright. Oh, it's really thick wrapper, too. Holy cow. I have no idea why they wrapped it like this. It's quite weird. Alright. So, uh, let's attempt to get this off. Alright. There we go. Alright. We got the difficult wrapping paper off. Alright, so what's in this case? Anything special? No, is it just... Oh, wait, is this an actual manual? Oh... It's a short manual, but it's manual. It's, it's just still real life. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Lego Marvel Superheroes. I might do a uh, review with it at some point, because uh, you guys really liked the Lego City um, review that I did a while back, so... I might get a review of this one as well, so, uh, yeah, I guess look forward to that at some point. Alright, the next two games I got are Ratchet & Clank games. We got Ratchet & Clank Tools of Destruction and Ratchet & Clank A Crack in Time. So, I have played the Ratchet games before, but I've only played up to the third one. I've never played the PS3 Ratchet games. The farthest I got was, uh, Ratchet & Clank up your arsenal. And even then, I didn't even beat it, uh, cause of the various. He is, uh, he's, he's kinda hard. Uh, um, yeah, I need to this, this too. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I've never played up past the third one. Um, but they were fun. I did have fun with the, uh, Thrasher and Clank games. And I did want to, like, catch up on the series and stuff. Especially seeing as how they're making a movie and rebooting the series and all of that stuff so um yeah so I did want to experience some of the other games in the series and see what they were like so um yeah which brings us to this me I hate it when it gets stuck on the edges like this that's the worst Ugh. Um, I don't think I can here I'll just I'll just do this there <laughs> You see, scissors makes everything easier. Why didn't I just do this from the start? Ugh. Do that. There we go. Alright, that's Ratchet and Clank Tools Destruction open. Let's go with uh, Kraken Time. Let's see. I need. Am I gonna need scissors? Oh, nope, nope, nope. I got it. Oh, wait, do I? Do I, or was it just trolling me? It was trolling me. <laughs> Everybody dance now. All right, there we go. What's in these cases? I wonder. Anything super special? I can get it open. That's great. All right. Anything special? Yes. Check it out. Okay, check it out, game developers. Take note. This is how you do a manual. All right. Look at this. You got. It's all colorful and 
it's like it's, it looks like blueprints and stuff. It's like it's it's cool looking. You see, you see how you see how interesting this looks. You see how not boring this looks. You see how it says bored and just this is how you turn on your console, don't get a seizure. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Let's see if Tools of Destruction does the same thing. Here we go. Oh my, the disc was not in the case properly. Why? Uh, yeah, but we get, we do got something similar here. Check it. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you do a manual. That's how you do it. Take note. That's how you make a manual interesting. You silly. You silly nelly. There. Alright, so that's Ratchet and Quake. Tools of Destruction and a Crack in Time. So the final game that I got for Christmas is... Super Mario Maker. Oh yeah. This, 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 I don't even think I need to say anything. You know why, why this game is cool. Alright, uh... Well, we got this thing. It's like a, this booklet thingy, Maguji. Uh, that looks... Does it turn into anything? I don't know, it's just like a block. Uh, what do we got here? Do, 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 do. Looks like book of courses, it looks like. Yeah, it's just like example courses and stuff like that. The basics. Yeah, oh boy, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's a little spooky. Uh, but yeah, like, you guys know I'm like a big fan of games like Little Big Planet and things like that, where you can make your own game, pretty much. Uh, and, uh, yeah, a bit of a fun fact. Um, a long time ago, uh, let's see if there's a manual in here in this thing first. No, there's not. Okay, whatever. Uh, a long time ago, I downloaded this, uh, thing. It was like this fan-made Mario-making thing, Manucci, like a Mario make level maker type thing that was like in the style of Mario Brothers 3, I think, uh, the Superstar version. Um, and yeah, they, they just like, it was just their free download and you could make, uh, Mario levels. Uh, on your computer and things like that, and I downloaded that, and I did make a few levels like that, and it was fun, and, uh, yeah, so, it's cool to see that I might be able to, uh, to well, not might, I will be able to do more stuff like that in this game. So there you go. Um, that is all the stuff I got for Christmas. We got Mario Maker, Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction and a Crack in Time, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, and Scooby-Doo... The name of the Scooby-Doo game again... Phantom of the Night. There we go. Um, yeah, those are the things I got for Christmas, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Again, sorry this was kind of late, but, um... Yeah, kind of had, um... Stuff to do. So, um... Burps are fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and as usual, let me know what you guys got for Christmas in the comments below, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, so, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll, uh, time travel back to the present, and, uh, yeah, and I'll just, uh, continue making videos from there, so, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later, everyone. Alright, we, take me back.